I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat? No. I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, um... You know that feeling when you're at the right place at the right time? That feeling that when you're with a group of people or doing a certain thing that you feel free like nothing from the outside world can harm you? Well, I found my place seven years ago and it's called Rooted in Community. Rooted in Community is a national grassroots network that empowers young people to take leadership in their own communities. It is a diverse movement of youth and adults working together and committed to fostering healthy communities and food justice through urban and rural agriculture, community gardening, food security, and related environmental justice work. For seven years, I have been privileged to be able to participate and help plan Rooted in Community or RIC gatherings all over the country. It all started for me in Ames, Iowa in 2012 and was an experience like no other and made me reevaluate my role in the food and environmental movements. It gave me a new way of thinking about food and the environment from a more primitive but very intelligent way of thinking. With the youth, they never used big words or tried to come off as something they weren't. They were honest and genuine because that's who they are and those are the lives of them, their families, and their communities that are affected by the way our current food system and environment are being treated. For them, there are no games to play, no big tactics to sell more, pass a bill. It's just their own concern for the way they are seen and treated in regards to the food they eat. For many of these youth, watching their families go through diabetes or become obese, living 20 minutes from a grocery store, not being educated on food, not being able to get jobs to pay for healthy food, being racially profiled and dealing with police brutality or deportation is the norm in a lot of the youth's lives. But with Rick and the different programs that help them in their own communities, these youth are finding hope. They are living with more of a fighting chance due to the voices that we are able to give them to really be real and honest about the issues going on in their communities. For me, watching seven different groups of youth come through our summer summits and watch the change of their personalities just from day one to day five is incredible. By day five, all the youth are more confident and feel a true connection to the communities we were able to make in five days. Our summer summits took place every year for 20 years and was a way for the youth to meet other youth, farming, gardening, and just living the radical life of a change maker. Just by giving the youth an outlet to do something meaningful for themselves, their families, and their communities, they are impacting the worldview of the youth everywhere and helping to spark a new paradigm for future generations to come. When I first came to Rick, I was a newbie in the food justice movement. I personally didn't know that much about food justice or what it meant, but after going to that first summit, it blew the roof off and helped me to want to learn more and be more involved with this movement to to take charge of the food we currently consume every day. I also, through Rick, found a home. I found my forever family in whatever form that is, and I found people that became brothers and sisters in the movement. Although this family is far away, I still feel a unique bond with each person who has and is a part of that Rick heart. Whenever I participate in in a Rick summit, I always get a warm feeling in my stomach and my heart is racing and I just feel the intense joy of knowing knowing I am making a change in the lives of the next generation. Each Rick is an experience for me and helps me to learn more about myself and the woman I want to be in this world. The first glimpse of that light happened in 2013 when we had Rick in LA. It was my second Rick and due to the hype of my first Rick, I was over the moon to make that feeling happen again. So I packed my bags and headed to LA. This summit, I was asked to be a part of a panel on youth of color and the food justice movement. During that panel, we got an incredible guest to come and be a part of what of that with us in the form of Will Allen of Growing Power. Now I'm a very shy and reserved kind of person, but once you get to know me better, I can be the life of the party. That being said, I am not a public speaker, but I am getting better and I feel this is because of this moment. Before going on stage, I was so nervous and trying to think of clever things to say. Once I got on stage, I just let spirit speak through me and help me bring whatever message I was to deliver to the youth. I guess whatever I said was a hit because I could feel a real awesome connect reaction from the youth. I then was asked to later be the youth MC for the press conference we held and I became your fresh MC because I am fresh like watermelon. It was really cute and I had a lot of fun doing it and it really opened me up to this community I didn't know I needed in my life. 
That same year, after the summit was over, I got asked to be a part of the Rick board, and the rest is history. Looking back, I am so glad I discovered Rick and all the incredible things they are doing. They were doing for 14 years at that time. Rick just celebrated its 20th anniversary, and at the and the amount of things that Rick has been able to accomplish over its 20 years is incredible. From two youth at an adult-centered agriculture conference, deciding to put the power of the youth in their own hands and helping to create Rick through the Boston Food Justice Org, the Food Project, to creating the Youth Food Bill of Rights in Philly, to just inspiring and uplifting the voices of generations of youth everywhere. Rooted in Community has been able to create a beautiful community of lifelong friends and family, and I am so proud to be able to call myself part of the Rick Heart, and I am so excited to see what the next 20 years of Rick has in store for us. R double O T E D what? R double O T E D what? R double O T E D what? Rooted in community. I love you, Rooted in Community. You're my heart, you're my life, and I am just so glad to be a part of you. Rick is lit. Here we go, yay! What? Oh, good. One, two, three! Rick is lit! She's like, let's do it again. Yeah. One, two, three, yeah. 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 yeah.